welcome back to Carnivore Show uh, Car Review. Today we are looking at a very unique car. This is an electric car, among one of the first in the Kenyan market. Uh, the name is called uh, Neta V, and uh, it has supplied. It was supplied to us by Moja EV company, a uh, Chinese company that will be giving you the history about it later on. Now let's talk about the specs of the Neta V. It has 95 horsepower and a battery capacity of 40.7 kilowatts per hour. The car peaks at uh, from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in just below 6 seconds and the top speed is uh, 100 kilometers per hour. Uh, on full charge, this car has 384 kilometers range. So on the history, in 2014, Ozone, which later developed into Neta, was founded in China. At the time, Neta focused on striving for development and built a research and development center which then successfully obtained a vehicle qualification and production license in 2018. Neta Aya was previously known as the Neta V, the first car produced by Neta. Moja EV has partnered with Neta to provide its electric cars to the Kenya automotive industry. So in Kenya so far, there's uh, two options that have already arrived uh, to the Kenyan market. One is the Neta V that uh, we just looked at. Uh, it has a crossover body. And then the other one is a Skyworth SUV body that uh, just recently arrived and it has not yet been uh, uh, advertised. Other vehicles by Neta are uh, Neta GT, which uh, basically stands for Grand Tourer, Neta S Sedan, Neta U, compact crossover so let's have a look at the exterior of uh, the neta v and we start with a very unique uh, front uh, exterior part of it it comes with the led daytime running light um uh, first of all and then there is the fast charge section for the fast charge and then on the other side it has uh, the normal charger for the car and then it also has the indicating lights on the side Obviously, this car does not have the front grille because it's not a combustion car, it's an electric car. And then looking at the side, we have uh, a 16-inch uh, alloy wheel. This car comes with a fastback uh, design roof, which uh, also has a, a spoiler at the back. And then uh, the car generally is a, a compact crossover car. On the rear, this car has uh, LED taillights. And then uh, the, the the logo is uh, Neta, and the specific car is the Neta V, which uh, shows right here. And then uh, this car is also very uh, environment friendly, and hence uh, the green energy. It's a 100% electric car. Uh, it doesn't involve any con uh, fuel consumption or anything, which makes it very uh, environment friendly. And uh, the people who sponsored us is uh, the company is uh, Meta. It's called uh, Moja EV, Kenya Limited. The car comes with uh, two parking sensors at the back and then now let's have a look at the boot. The boot capacity is uh, 335 litre and then uh, we have uh, the charger. So this car comes with two chargers. There's the one that is mounted on the wall which is a normal charger and then this is like a mobile charger that you you carry with you in case you're going for a long distance drive and the car runs out of charge so it comes with it comes with a very unique uh, key this is the key to the neta v and uh, the functionalities is just uh, the boot uh, open and close and then the other thing that i like about it is it comes it looks like a fidget uh, key that you can just use and uh, you know uh, turn around uh, Moving on to the interior part of the car, um, uh, of course uh, we have the key but there's the keyless option that you can just use to unlock the car from the, the, the front door. In the interior we have uh, leather red seats, black leather red, uh, which also is the same uh, with the steering wheel. It has uh, gear, gear select which uh, on the right we have uh, drive, uh, parking and everything else on one side and then on the other side is uh, the light. Almost all the control uh, for the car is done on the 14 uh, inch screen android screen and then uh, the indicator is right down here there's a space for your mobility two cup holders extra cup holder down here it comes with an armrest phone holder and extra space it's uh, basically just a touch screen you can control a lot of things this is the bluetooth if you have music already placed you have that and then uh, we have the setting for device uh, 
and then the main thing here is the car the vehicle so this shows you how much charge you still have it will let you know if you need to recharge the car or you're still good to go and then uh, more auto lock unlock um and then that is uh, the status of the air conditioning which you can adjust from down here to whatever you want it to back to the charge we have this showing you the lights you can put it on you can leave it on auto make it dark bright switch it off whichever way you like yeah so basically this is it that is the temperature in the car it shows you if the ac is on and how much you want it on you can switch it off from there yeah right in front of uh, the driver's seat there's the digital odometer that uh, you can see all the controls on so you can put it on drive put it on uh, neutral put it on reverse and then uh, yeah the screen comes uh, shows you the reverse hey guys i'll be taking you through the driving ergonomics of this uh, car and so far it's so good um even on some bumps i don't feel everything so the suspension is not bad and as we drive through the city it's a good city car if you're thinking about using this as a personal car to go for from home to work and maybe if you want to you know drive it as a, a psv and if you're thinking about doing uber then this is a good option on the highway it's a quite comfortable car to to be in it's silent i don't have a lot of uh, outside noise you know you can feel the the car pulling and yeah so far so good i have no issues um i can do this all day it's a comfortable car as long as of course i have charge because you have to consider before you leave wherever to wherever you're going you have enough to charge for the range that the car provides now if you can check the acceleration my foot is to the the floor and it moves it, it really moves you know the electric truck is good even though it has 94 horsepower it's not bad if i need to move around i can do so very easily you know without a problem review for the latest uh, electric car in the kenyan market neta v uh, it's ready for sale for our contact just um, uh, call me whatsapp dm send me a message and we'll be able to arrange for you this car remember it's a green um, environment friendly car and yeah we look forward to doing business with you and thank you so much moja ev bye bye